Yo, yo, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the videos. Uh, we're actually sitting outside of Harbor Freight right now because I'll tell you what I'm doing in there in a second. But we got a lot of updates and a lot of exciting news for the channel. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you guys can stay tuned. But first things first, because I'll probably have this picture in the thumbnail. So you guys are going to be asking about it. So I'm just going to clear the air. Um, I did break my foot and literally don't even want to talk about it. I just like rolled my ankle going down some concrete stairs. Didn't even sprain my ankle or anything. Just fractured the side of my foot somehow. It's just mind boggling to me. A real big hold back. I haven't been able to put any weight on my foot till I got this boot and I didn't get this boot till like a week and a half after it happened. And still, even with this boot on, I can't carry anything heavy or do anything with couches at all because I can't carry a couch into someone's house with a fractured foot. It's just not going to be good for it. I mean, I probably could, knowing me, but like it's just going to make the fracture worse or make the healing time longer. And I'm trying to get this healed quick as possible. So I just pumped the brakes on the couch flipping. And with that being said, it's gave me a lot of time to think of new stuff and watch a lot of you new YouTube videos and learn a lot of new things, come up with some new business ideas. And since I've been doing that, some videos came up on my uh, YouTube algorithm that were saying how to make $1,000 a day with a truck or trailer. And I was like, all right, I'll click on this video and watch it. It's probably going to be something like lawns or lawn care or something like that. I thought it was going to be something like that. And it was every single video after I watched this first one, they were all coming up on my YouTube. A bunch of different people dropping videos about this. And it's just about how to make $1,000 with a truck, a pickup truck. And it's pretty much every video was going around and hauling away junk for people. And it was either like debris, just garbage sitting outside of people's houses. They like you could go up and knock and ask if you wanted People in the video were saying go knock on people's doors that have a bunch of shit outside of their house and ask if they want it gone for like 50 bucks. And I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that, but like, especially during COVID. But then like at the end of the video, they were all like, they're like, or you could just advertise junk removal once you get a trailer, or you could do it with just your truck, but you're not going to get that much business because people kind of need to do a lot more stuff or remove a lot more junk out of their house than just a bed full. They kind of needed like a bed full and a trailer full. And it's got me thinking like, if I, I need, already need a trailer for the couch flipping because I never have enough room just in the back of my truck for a couch. And if I do, it's always like to the point where it's illegally loaded, where it's about to fall out or it's completely blocking my vision. So I've already needed a trailer and I can use it for my dirt bike to go to the track. So there's two excuses for me to buy a trailer. And then the third one being that I could potentially start a junk removal business or try to start doing that too on the side. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna get a trailer then. So that's what we're doing right now, Harbor Freight. And you're probably like, what is he doing at Harbor Freight? They don't have trailers. And you'll be surprised, they actually have trailers inside in a box and you have to buy this trailer and put it together yourself. And it's only like a small trailer. It's only like eight by four, but it's a trailer and it's 350 bucks like I'm telling you try to find a used trailer for that price a used one on Facebook marketplace or Craigslist you like 90% of the time you can't I'm sure if I sat on there every day for like a few weeks I'll find I'd find a trailer that someone's pretty much just dumping or giving away for cheap but this is a new trailer I mean yeah I have to put it together which is gonna take a lot of time but this is a new trailer for 350 bucks and it holds up to 1100 pounds so that's pretty sick. So I'm going in here right now and I'm gonna put it together in this video so you guys can see it at the end of this video and I'll give you guys, I guess, my kind of review on it. See if it's anything good. So that's a plan. Hopefully uh, you got all that. Definitely stay tuned. I'm gonna probably be doing some junk removal videos in the future here, let you guys know. I'm gonna start an LLC and see if I get this business started on top of the couch flipping. And now that I'm gonna have this trailer, I'm gonna be able to do even bigger couches or more couches. So a lot of new content should be coming soon, a lot of new stuff. So definitely hit the subscribe button, the stay tuned, hit the noties, and that's pretty much it. So I'll update you guys when I get this trailer loaded in home. All right, so I decided to just record in the store real quick to show you all how to get this trailer. Pretty much all you do is walk over here. They have it on display, but it's folded in half. And you grab a card out of here and tell them which one you want, and they bring everything out in the box and literally load it up for you. It's sick. Yo, yo, we're back, finally. That took actually way longer than I thought it was going to take, but we got the trailer. And one of the only reasons it took so long is because the people that were helping me check out, 
it was their first time um, checking out a trailer, and I guess, which is a positive, they had to fill out a title and give me like a title and everything It's in this envelope, which is sick, because I didn't know how I was gonna get this thing registered and get a license plate on it, because I, I was like, how am I gonna get a title for this utility trailer I bought from a store? But I guess they give you a title, so that's actually helps a lot. So that answers a lot of my questions. Did not know they were gonna do that, but that's what they did. But I'm gonna pull this thing out. As you can see, the one box is like the framing, and uh, this, this box right here is just the wheels and tires and fenders. So I'm probably not gonna video me pulling this out. I'm just gonna video me putting it together because it's gonna be a hassle to get out. Probably gonna have to wait for my dad to get home to pull it out because the one box is like 100 plus pounds, and with my broken foot, it's gonna be kind of hard. So anyway, that's the plan. Stay tuned. Probably just gonna put a time lapse of me putting this together and then I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. So stay tuned. All right, so we're getting all the parts out, laying them out, how I think it's gonna go together. And this is very confusing. These parts are super heavy, like straight steel. And like I was telling y'all, the manual is super confusing because all these numbers you see that number the parts, the parts don't have numbers on them. There's no numbers on the parts. And that's what I was I read online is there's no numbers for the parts and there isn't any on this trailer either. So the online reviews were right. So I'm pretty much just looking at these pictures, laying the parts out like the picture. Then I'm just gonna have to screw them together. That's the bag of hardware. It's like a ton of stuff. And so this is gonna take a while. All right, so I got this part together and it a little difficult, but now that I got this, this is half of it. I'll probably time lapse that second half. I got a few things to say. Um, so right here, this is brand new and you can see this is supposed to be flush because a bolt's going to go against this and it looks like it's dented somehow. So that's annoying. And then also right here in the framing, looks like it's a chip, but it's not because it's painted. That's a little weird. So a few little quality issues right there, but so far so good. It's, I mean, sturdy metal. All right. Now we got it to here connected to the two squares. So now it's a full trailer. Got that on. Got the hinges connected and I was about to flip it, but it was I didn't tighten any bolts yet because I know it's gonna be crooked when I actually get the wheels on. So I left everything loose so I can straighten it out, then tighten everything down. But then I realized I can't flip it with everything loose because stuff's gonna start bending and bolts are gonna bend because the trailer's so heavy. If I try to flip it under that weight, it's probably gonna bend something. So I tightened up like the main joints, like the corners in the middle part. And now we're gonna try to flip it with uh, this. And it's like, way over a hundred pound trailer. So uh, let's see how this goes. Thanks. All right, she is almost done. I almost got everything together. Got to screw the wheels on. I need to get a bigger socket set for that. And then I got to put the tongue together. And then all I have to do is flip it over and screw the pressurized treated plywood on and then it's pretty much finished. All right, this thing is looking good. Don't mind my voice. I don't know what's going on, but I got a sore throat. But anyways, this thing came along super nice. Honestly, I could sell this thing for more than I bought it for right now easily. Probably only have 400 into it and easily could sell it for 500. But probably not gonna do that. Probably gonna keep building to it. Probably put walls on it and stuff and make it like a little dump trailer. Maybe try to do some little junk removal jobs, but that's it. All right, so that's pretty much it. As you can see, the trailer's finished. It looks sick. It seems sturdy. It seems like a really nice trailer. I definitely saved a few bucks getting that Harbor Freight trailer, putting it together myself. But definitely took a while to put together. I, but I only have 400 bucks into it, but I definitely have at least five hours of labor into it with putting it together, then going to Home Depot, getting the pressurized treated wood, and self-tapping that in the top and everything. And I still probably gotta do a little bit more to it. I kinda wanna put walls on it just so it holds debris in and stuff if I start doing junk removal. So that'd be sick. All right, so I got cut off by the Starbucks drive-through, but 
Anyways, before I ramble on too long, if you guys watched the video to this point, I appreciate that. And anyone still watching, if you could drop a like and a comment, I would appreciate that. That helps my videos get out to more people. Hit the subscribe button if you're trying to stay tuned and see where this journey takes me. I really have no idea, but hopefully we can get some uh, this trailer hooked up and some drop removal started. That would be sick. And see where it takes me. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.